Hey everybody, uh, this is Skid from the Glass Cannon Podcast, and today I'm sitting here with Grant Berger. You know, it's a weird coincidence that we're both on the same podcast, the Glass Cannon Podcast, but it's Grant Berger from the Glass Cannon Podcast, and uh, he's here to talk about to us about his new character for our Ruins of Aslan campaign. Oh boy, I'm so, so excited. Um, so if I were to say go out on a blind date with this character, what would it be like? What, what would, uh, what, how would the date be? It'd be a classy affair. But immediately, you'd be thrilled because you would see an icon of manhood. Six foot four, glistening, because he's put baby oil all over himself, maybe olive oil, right before the date. He's got a 10 pack, not an eight pack. He's an anatomical freak, but he's going to take you out to a nice seafood restaurant. Maybe eat a little raw bar. He's going to insist that you put a little bit of lemon on every clam you eat. So at, at the end of the evening, we probably maybe go watch the boats drift out of the dock and come back in again. Okay, well, uh, he sounds really handsome and charming. Mm -hmm. uh, and it sounds also like you're making the most of those insane ability scores that you rolled. Yeah, really. Uh, with his physique. Really spreading it out, but mostly to the abs. <laughs> Concentrated all in the lower torso. Well, that's great. So uh, what is it about this character, apart from his uh, inherent sexiness, that uh, appeals to you? What, what gets you going about this guy? Well, what I liked uh, about looking at some of the different archetypes that you could go with in the Aslan Player's Guide um, was playing a character that could fit into something I love about Roman history, the gladiators. Particularly, he's based off the fighting style of the Rotarius, the, the net fighters that would entangle people in nets and then stab them with a harpoon. I thought that would kind of fit into kind of like the, the Namor or, or Aquaman kind of god of the sea type of thing, um, that he would be very capable in underwater combat. Um, the thing about um, the class, though, is a lot of the things, I'm not going to unveil it here, but a lot of the things that are going to make him really interesting and stand out won't pop out until later. But what I wanted to do was tie him to the ocean. So he's always had a love for the sea. Ever since he was a young boy, he would swab the decks of the ships in town for just like a copper. He'd do it for free if uh, he had to. He just wanted to be around the ocean. And uh, I wanted him to come from a family that also had tied to the ocean. So his, his father is a captain uh, in kind of the, the Coast Guard from where he's from, uh, but he didn't want to follow in those footsteps. So I like the idea of being tied to the sea, but not just straight following along your family heritage. All right. Well, uh, an affinity for the sea is going to serve him incredibly well in this adventure because a lot of it takes place underwater. It's like a Gallagher show. You will get wet mm -hmm. over the course of this adventure. You did hand out those ponchos before we recorded the yeah, first I episode. Did, yeah. It was pretty crazy. That was unrelated, but they'll still come <laughs> in handy. Uh, so, uh, do we want to talk about uh, casting? Are you going to keep that a secret? I'm just so I want to picture this, this, this Adonis. Like, what, what could he possibly look like? Who, who could fit this role? I don't, I don't know. Let me tell you something. No one's going to be disappointed. <laughs> so you're just going to have to wait, Skid. Hit the brakes, buddy. Okay. All right. Uh, name? Can we get a name? Dracius Apaternia. Also very Latin Roman history based, um, but you know. You're not going to learn much from his name or what I've told you. There's a little bit of a secret hiding back in him that'll be unveiled as we go through the podcast. So I'm excited for that to happen. All right. Well, I'm titillated uh, by the mystery and by the physical description. I can't wait to see this guy in action, uh, so to speak. So thank you, Grant Berger. And please get out. We've got more of these to do. Thank you. Thank you.